All right, you guys, let's talk about it. That's what I'm here for. So that last piece of content that I uploaded prior to me recording this piece of content and uploading it, I wanted you all to see a highly ADHD individual within a vulnerable state. Not my most vulnerable state, you will not see that. But I did want you all to see me in a vulnerable state going through a ADHD, I guess you would call it crisis. Um, <clears throat> it's not all shits and giggles in my opinion. And, um, you know, these things happen to not only me, but a quite a few individuals out there whom live with ADHD. And had I not been as strong as I am currently, I probably would have committed suicide or the attempt to suicide or even harming oneself. So um, someone within this world needs to be brave enough to upload content such as that in order for the world to see that it's not it's not always cracked up to be. The shit is really serious. And I see why they call it a crisis because, child, I just see why they call it a motherfucking crisis. So anyway, I may as well go ahead and explain the whole going to the Dollar Tree and retrieving the um my certificate in the ain't no motherfucking the my certificate so i was in the kitchen and i had some steaks some beef steaks i do believe they came from the food pantry i showed you motherfuckers the damn steaks uh i unthawed them bitches yesterday and uh, they look good as fuck the the meat is just nice and red ready to be cooked so anyway, the, yeah, I marinated the motherfuckers and I had one st uh, storage bag left, one of the large ones. And I didn't have to go anywhere. I could have just kept my ass right here in this apartment. I didn't feel like it. So I ended up, um, you know, gathering my little items. And uh, aside from that, I wanted to hear Gina Breeze feel my energy. That motherfucking song is my new shit. Nothing fucks with Gina Breeze. Feel my energy. The beat is hot. What she be saying is hot. She's not even singing. She's vocal singing, if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, it, it's her voice. It's very sensual. And it reminds me of my motherfucking self, to be quite frank, pop my own collar. When I used to live, not even when I used to live as fish, even now I get compliments in regard to my voice. But when I used to live as fish, <clears throat> I would portray the, vo you know, shit, I'm living as fish. So I have to have a, a voice that matches the character, I guess you could say. And, um, <clears throat> It was this <laughs> high-pitched type of voice. Someone said to me that I sound like I was, I sound like I'd be on helium when I'd be talking as fish, or you know, yeah, talking as fish. <clears throat> but what got the dudes was the fact that every time I ended a sentence, I would end it with a breath. It, it wasn't on purpose. It's just me, you know. And it would be like, so what you doing? Oh, you want to come over? It was just, <laughs> I mean, but this is what got the motherfuckers off. Literally, uh, yes, literally. Um, this, that's what got them off. That breath at the end of each, each of my sentences. <clears throat> oh, my voice, I mean, my, my mouth is dry. Hold on. I don't feel like stopping this video to go get some water. So y'all gonna have to bear with me because I, I need to moisten. But yes, it's that, that at the end of the sentence. So anyway, when Gina Breeze says what she says, 
what I'm going to try to get this right. When I look up into the sky with my eyes, I close my eyes or something like that. <laughs> and then she says um, something about, I feel, I feel so good being me. I feel so free. Who am I supposed to be? I mean, it's just, mm, 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 the song be hidden. But anyway, I go to the Dollar Tree <clears throat> and I park. I get out the car. I'm not sure if I looked around in the park. I, I did. I, I did. I looked around in the parking lot for a split second before walking in. I go inside. I go retrieve what I needed to go retrieve. And I felt this searching energy while I was in that motherfucker. I can't explain the energy, but I can't explain their energy because it's just a personal energy that I felt that I, th I honestly feel the universe and or stores gave to me for a particular reason at that particular moment. I pay for my items and <clears throat> maybe chit chatted with the um, cashier for a little bit before walking out. And I get to my car, I sit down. This is how ADHD I am because I don't even know if I started the motherfucker or not. I just know that I sat my ass down and um, <clears throat> was contemplating whether or not I should go back inside and ask the cashiers whether or not they came across a certificate. And um, I sat there for a minute and I, damn, was my car started up? I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> I ended up getting out the motherfucker and I walk proudly inside I sure did. And I asked the cab, I told the cashier, I was like, look, not verbatim, but I'm like, um, I was in here yesterday and I ended up buying, you know, some items. And one of the items was a frame for a certificate that, you know, belongs to me. And I brought the certificate inside because I didn't know what, and this shit, the frame still is small, too damn small. And so anyway, I was like, um, I brought the I brought the certificate inside with me in order to match it up with you know the correct frame. <clears throat> and is it possible that I may have left? I was about to say motherfucker, but I didn't say that. I was about did I leave the mother? Did I leave it in here? And um, she was like, "Well, do you want me to go ask? You know, uh, is it you know possible that you left it here or whatever?" And I was like, "Yes, please." Please go do that. So she knocked on the manager's door <clears throat> and the manager came, you know, child, she knocked on the manager's door and the manager opened the motherfucker up and uh, she was, no, 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 she didn't open it up. She didn't open it up. She knocked on the door and the manager basically addressed her from the other side of the door. And she was like, you know, there's a gentleman out here and he said that he was in here yesterday. He bought some things, blah, blah, blah. He had a certificate and he wanted to know if, if, if it's possible that he left it here. <clears throat> Y'all already know why my motherfucking mouth is dry. So y'all gonna have to bear with me if you can't. So anyway, <clears throat> Oh, Lord, child. Um, the manager opened up the door at that particular point, And so I'm speaking back and forth, you know, whatever the case may be. And so I was telling her, I'm like, well, you know, is there a certificate that's left here? And she was like, well, I heard a couple of voices behind the door, but they was like, yes, yes, you know, there, yes, yes. And then, you know, she grabbed it and, had, and she was like, there's another letter that came with it, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I was just... I, I was beyond happy, of course. I mean, shit, the, 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 it, the, the puzzle has, I mean, the mystery has been solved. You know, it's just like, damn, I went, I broke shit. I, I cussed my own self out. I mean, I went through it in regard to my certificate. And to go back to the very place where it's either between the motherfucking Dollar Tree or my home, and for it to be at the Dollar Tree, 
in perfect condition. To me, it's just a, it's just a miracle in itself because anyone could have stole it. I mean, no one can be me, as I said before. I mean, I'm I'm a one time thing, you know. I mean, ain't nobody no. Mm -mm. You can't duplicate this. It's just as simple as that. Um, not being a bougie, but you just can't duplicate me. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah. So anyway. Um, <clears throat> I just felt it. I felt it. And um, I was just beyond overjoyed, you know, that I found my certificate and I listened. That's the main thing. I listened to that inner voice that told me to take my ass back in that motherfucking Dollar Tree and ask one of the motherfucking cashiers, is your is your certificate in there now i spoke to my mother after i had my little breakdown and she told me that what probably happened is i took a photo prior to me walking into the dollar tree with the certificate and everything and i left it in there but i love my mother to death i just can't allow her reality to change my reality because i know that I grabbed that motherfucker because I paid for my, I, I, I know I sat it down, the cashier, the ca imagine the cashier thing is right there. I sat it down right to the left hand side of me. I paid for my items, I grabbed them, I made sure to turn my motherfucking ass back to, you know, where I put my certificate and I made sure to grab it and, you know, shit, I, I have my certificate and if I didn't if it didn't happen that way, then that just simply means that my ADHD is uh, oh, what's the words that I can uh, um, it, it, it's, it's more it's more severe than what I am thinking that it is. <clears throat> oh, I'm at twelve minutes and something. All right, you guys, I'm gonna. Uh, Namaste.